Hello. One of the other things that I would like to cover in terms of equipment today is, uh, you know, people a lot of times are looking for ways to, you know, kind of save a little bit of money on some of their setups and builds, uh, whether it be a regular fish tank, whether it be a quarantine tank, whether it be just, you know, even a garbage can just for cycling rock. Um, which brings me to this little guy here. This is a Kedsum uh, 1850 uh, gallon per hour power head. It is pretty powerful. Um, it's got a thousand, 1,850 gallons of flow uh, coming out of this thing. Um, the price on it is a, a uh, dirt cheap $15 from Amazon. Um, now you may notice uh, the one drawback that this power head really does have is its mount. Um, it's it is not a good, uh, real good mount system. It will probably take you several attempts to get this thing to get good suction and actually stick in place. Because what it does is it has a clamp system here, um, and then it'll clamp down once it gets a good suction and good seal. And once it does. Uh, you know, I use this thing to cycle uh, 50 pounds of live rock in a garbage can, and it took me several attempts, but once I got it to get a good seal, good seal, it uh, stuck there for several months um, just doing its thing, and it, it was dependable. Um, it's a little bit different from other power heads. It actually takes flow in from the back, so you want to make sure that your water level doesn't drop below the back here because it's kind of angled normally. Um, otherwise, it's just going to be sucking air into it. So, uh, so that is a little bit of a different design on this. Um, the given the mount, um, I would be wary about using this in a regular tank, particularly with a sand bed, um, because if it loses its seal and you get something this powerful falling down to the sand and still running, you're going to have an absolute nightmare on your hands. Where I would say that this power head really shines would be in a bare bottom tank, like a quarantine tank, or in like a garbage can cycling rock. And in both cases, you're not going to want to spend a ton of money on it. You're going to want to keep the equipment as cheap as possible. Um, and for that, it does, it's, as I said, it's a little bit of a pain to get mounted, but once you are able to get a good seal on this thing, it should stick, it should hold, and be, uh, it will be a great power head for you. Provide plenty of flow for, uh, you know, for fish, for, for live rock. Um, and, I, you know, I, I suppose if you really wanted to, you know, get creative with some corals, you probably could provide enough flow for it, given its power head rating. Um, it was really interesting as well. Apparently, Kedsum is a new company trying to get a start, and they're trying to build a reputation for themselves. Um, their customer service is phenomenal. Um, I wrote a review on Amazon and basically saying that, you know, it was a good power head. They just needed to, you know, maybe <laughs> invest in a, uh, a better mount system, something a little more durable and sustainable for the long run. Um, and almost immediately I got a response back from Kedsum expressing concern over my review and saying, hey, you know, what can we do to make this right? And I told him I, I wasn't really, you know, expecting anything or whatever. I was just giving an honest opinion because for $15, I mean, um, you know, I, I understand that, you know, sometimes you're going to have to cut a few corners and the mount is where they kind of cut some corners. Um, as a response back from that, Kedsum actually <laughs> refunded me uh, half the money on this thing. So this power head here I spent a whopping $7 on, and, and I can tell you it is, it's easily worth the $15, even with the, the mount that needs some work. Um, and, uh, and at, you know, $7 to $8, it was an absolute steal. Um... So, as I said, if you're looking for a cheap power head for a quarantine or a cycling tank, definitely go with one of these things. It will, it will do a great job for you. And quite honestly, if Kedsum, even if they raise the price, you know, I'd say to even $20 to $30, and then put a more secure, uh, better mount on these things, um, honestly, at that point, I might even switch for my third-gen high doors that I run in my 90-gallon, which run, you know, between about $55 and $65 a piece. Um, 
just because these things, uh, you know, in terms of the power head for what it puts out for the money is actually, it's, it's a very good unit. Um, so anyways, yeah, the name's Kedsum. Um, they make an 1850 model and they do make a model that's over 2000 gallons per hour. Uh, I don't know what, you know, as I said, unless you're using it in your primary main display tank, I don't know what you would need that much flow for, but, uh, you do have those options. Obviously, the one that's over 2,000 gallons per hour is is more expensive. Not much more, but a little bit more expensive. Um, but anyways, so there's a cheaper alternative for you for a power head, for a, for a secondary tank, or a bare bottom tank. Uh, if you're just looking for something to try out and you don't mind playing around with the, uh, the mount a bit. Uh, and that's all I have, and thanks for watching.